Hi everyone. As you know that mixed methods research combines the elements of two types of research, qualitative and quantitative. Quantitative data is collected through the use of surveys and experiments, for example, containing numerical measures such as ages, scores, and percentages. And qualitative data involves non-numerical measures like beliefs, motivations, attitudes, experiences, often derived through interviews and focus group research to gain a deeper understanding of a research question or phenomena. However, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about what you should be knowing when conducting data analysis in mixed methods studies. Now, in mixed method studies, you need to combine a number of data analysis procedures depending upon the way data was collected and the way you want to communicate your feelings or findings. Suppose you are interested in finding out the changes in the number of tourists coming to an area or country and how do they feel about the visit. To do so, you might collect data either from secondary sources, that is from the records kept by, say, the Department of Immigration, or through cross-sectional surveys over a period of time to provide information on the number of tourists coming in a year. By analyzing these numbers, you can estimate the change in the number of tourists over a period of time. Now, this type of analysis that helps you to study the trend in the number of tourists is quantitative in nature. So it gives you certain numbers to play around with. However, suppose you want to find out about the attitudes towards the facilities and stay in the area from some of the respondents through an in-depth interviewing, the data collected through in-depth interviewing can be better subjected to, say, content analysis which is qualitative in nature. So in mixed methods or multiple method studies, as you use two or more methods, either belonging to the same or different research paradigms, mostly the methods used in data collection and your intention about the way you want to communicate your findings determine the way the data should be analyzed. If the data is collected by two methods, which belong to the two paradigms, you need to use different methods for its analysis appropriate to the way data was collected. So you may say that mixed methods research is often used in behavioral health and social sciences that it allows for the collection of numerical and non-numerical data. So mixed methods research is a great choice when quantitative or qualitative data alone will not sufficiently answer a research question. So by collecting and analyzing both quantitative and qualitative data in the same study, you can draw more meaningful conclusions. So there are several reasons why mixed methods research can be beneficial. The benefits include generalizability, contextualization, and credibility. But remember, you need to justify why you are using a mixed method study in your research studies. For example, let's say you're conducting a survey about consumer preferences about a certain product. So, for example, here, let's say you are trying to find out how many number of people prefer Kellogg's over Nutri-Grain or Rice Krispies or Fruit Loops. So, when you are analyzing the number, you are engaging in quantitative data. However, if you are trying to find the reason as to why a person or why people prefer each product and demographic, you have to supplement your quantitative data with qualitative data, such as interviews and focus groups, to get a better sense of why people prefer one product over the other. So it is important to note that mixed method research does not only mean collecting the data, it also requires carefully considering the relationship between the two kinds of data and the method flexibility. So you may find differing or even conflicting results by combining quantitative and qualitative data. So it is up to you then, the researcher, to carefully analyze these results and consider them in the context of the research question that you have drawn up to find meaningful conclusion. So when designing a mixed method studies, it is important to consider your research approach, your research questions and available data. Think about how you can use different techniques to integrate the data to provide an answer to your research question. You should be able to justify that mixed methods approach was the correct approach in getting an in-depth answer to your research question. Otherwise, it's just collecting data and you um, wasting your time and not being able to draw the required conclusions to be able to satisfy the examiners or readers. Hope this video was useful to you. In my future videos, I will discuss more aspects of mixed methods research. I just try to keep my videos short so that it is engaging and not too boring for someone who's watching them. Bye for now.